according to me, these Palestinians, for the last several decades, they are doing farz e They are protecting the third holiest site of Islam. They are protecting the Masjid Al-Aqsa. It's the duty of every Muslim. If they were not there, it would have been our duty to protect it. It is a shame that all the Muslims, more than 25% of the world population, put together, we cannot protect Masjid Al-Aqsa. What should we Muslims do? I will just mention a few important points in brief. Do du'as for the Palestinian and for Masjid Aqsa. I feel it is a fard for every Muslim that they should pray for our Palestinian brothers and sisters. We should pray for their safety. We should pray for the victory. We should pray that may Allah give them sabr. We should pray that those Palestinians who have been martyred, Allah should give them the highest level in Jannah for those. To get up in the last one third of night and pray Tahajjud Salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in that Salah, in sujood, you make duas for our Palestinian brothers and sisters. And this is the best time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers the prayers of the believers. We should make on our social media, whether it be on the Facebook, whether it be on the Instagram, on the Twitter, on WhatsApp, we should make the world aware of the atrocities done by the Israelis on the innocent Palestinians. We should spread the literature, whether it be pamphlets, whether it be books, whether it be e-books, on this issue so that the world is aware of what is happening in Palestine. We should make publicity, whether on billboards, whether on buildings, hoardings, whether it be on buses, on different venues, so that we make the people aware in your locality, in your city, in your country, about the atrocities done on our Palestinian brothers and sisters by the Israeli forces. There should be peaceful protests all over the world by the Muslims. We Muslims as a whole throughout the world should boycott all Israeli products. We should boycott consuming all Israeli products. Surely the 25% of the world population, if we boycott 100% of the Israeli products, it will be surely a reminder to Israeli and it will be a good lesson to them. We should contribute financially, whatever we can. And as I've always said in many of my talks before, that when we contribute, see to it that you contribute besides your fard zakat that you have to give. See to it that you donate a percentage of your income, your monthly income, whether it be 10%, 20%. A person who's earning $1,000 a month, if he donates $100, he will get more ajar than a person who earns a billion dollars and he donates only a million dollars. Because one billion, one million dollar from a billion dollar is 0.1%. Where hundred dollar from a thousand dollar is 10%. So the person who earns only a thousand dollar and donates hundred dollar will get hundred times more sawab, more blessings as compared to a person who earns a billion dollar and donates only a million dollars. So Allah will look at the percentage of what you have that you donate, not at the amount. So let us make a commitment that we donate a percentage of our income for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from this, we allocate a share for the Palestinians. There should be diplomatic protest. See to it that the Muslims protest on a diplomatic level to the authorities. And if there are embassies or consulates in the country, see to it, they give a diplomatic protest and a letter to the ambassador against the atrocities done by the Israeli government on the Palestinians. If the Muslims can get together and 
we have a trade boycott with Israel. A total trade boycott. See to it that all the Muslims in the world, not only individually do we boycott the goods, all the Muslim countries today, there are 57 Muslim majority countries in the world. We have a trade boycott and should not in any way deal with any goods or in any way, whether diplomatic with Israel. The various hadith that the life of a believer is more sacred than the Kaaba. And imagine hundreds of Palestinian Muslims are being killed. And what are we doing? How can we join hands with the enemies? They are not just Muslims. They are Palestinian Muslims who are doing for the kafaya on behalf of the Muslim Ummah. How can we become friends with the killers of the Muslims in Palestine? I would like to congratulate Kuwait. There was the news recently that in Kuwait, in the parliament, one of the members of parliament, he tabled, he said in the parliament, and he wants to pass a law, he wants to see to it that the Kuwait government passes a law that anyone who supports Israel, whether in reality or whether on social media, should be imprisoned for 10 years, along with the fine of 5,000 dinar, which is about more than $15,000. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may this law be passed in Kuwait soon. I know many people are afraid that Israel is supported by superpowers. We fail to realize that we have Allah with us. Allah supports us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with the believers. Unfortunately, unfortunately, as the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that a time will come where Muslims will be in large numbers like froth, but they'll be powerless. They'll be just like froth. The numbers are large. Another important point for all the Muslims in the world to unite, irrespective whichever thought you belong to, whichever school you belong to, whichever country you belong to, is the Palestinian cause. Because Masjid Aqsa is important to each and every Muslim in the world. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to know that in Malaysia, the tall, the tall skyscrapers like the KL Tower, like the Kuan Tower, like the Alostar Tower, like the Terengganu Bridge in Putrajaya, many bridges, what they have done, they have lit up with the colors of the Palestinian flag. Green, red, white and black in solidarity, in solidarity to the people of Palestine. Beloved Prophet Muhammad said that all the Muslims are like one body. If something happens to one part, all of it, the whole body is in fever. So I request our Muslim brothers and sisters throughout the world that implement on the few suggestions that I've given and see to it that we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He keep our Palestinian Muslims and brothers safe. May he give them sabr. May he give them victory. May he give the highest level of Jannah Firdos to the martyrs of Palestine. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you.